in the repechage contest where he beat Sven Maresch. And here he is now fighting for the bronze medal. That's how Agasse got here. We can have a look at Valois Fortier's route to this point. Defeated Yuta Villa Galareta of Peru in the first round and then Ivan Felipe Silva Morales of Cuba. Lost out to Yakio Imam of, Uz of Uzbekistan. Sorry, defeated Imam of, of, of Uzbekistan in the third round. And then the semi final went out to the world champion Loic Pietri of France. Missed with that Koji Gaki attempt. Tall of the two fighters. I quite often ask the fighters whether there's a, any advantage height-wise. And they tend to, the, the answer tends to be no. They don't feel that there's any real advantage height-wise. We saw a definite difference with Baker and uh, Buffet. And uh, Baker was able to uh, manage that pretty well. Still a bit green. He, he kept falling behind it by penalties, Baker, all day. Nice little turning, wasn't there, from uh, Valois Fortier. He managed to get the feet moving really well, had the left arm up and around the collar, and then just seemed to collapse. Agassi, he usually has this composure. He looks really calm even when he's in trouble. Kind of methodically works through a grip. Doesn't have an issue of loading up on one side like this. Both fighters picked up penalties. A little bit too ambitious with that attack, Valois Fortier. Well, he seems to like that sort of sprawling in attack. That was a good look there for Nagase. Put the leg around, didn't really have much drive for the upper body. Kane Maru, former Javis national team member, coaching in the corner. Oh, and there we go. And Nagase is able to convert a Yuko. There it is. Off balance, wasn't he? Um, Valois Fortier after his own attack. Didn't manage to get himself settled again. And Nagase took advantage of that. Came up with a score. 220 odd left to go. The Japanese Nagase and the white Jidogi leading. Valois Fortier again getting to turn in really well. A bit too deep, I think, actually. Yeah, because by the time that he looked to sweep up with the right leg, it was way too high. He's sweeping a lot of fresh air behind Nagasi's body and not bringing him on yep. to that sweeping leg. That's a be better effort. He's getting some, some good attacks in here, but either lacking Kazushi or some little technical glitch. But he's showing some good aggression. Nagase just methodically looking for the grip. Both fighters with their sleeves tied up. Not a great deal to come from that. A pair of penalties go out. And now Valois Fortier is the one who's going to get called here. Gripping on the same side and not throwing. Settled on one side for a little bit too long. Once your hands are on, you need to put in an attack. And Valois Fortier just left it there for a little bit too long. Just to be a little bit tired as you went to the ground there as well. Like I say, taking the opportunity to 
get down there and try and turn him over. Look at them get both ankles underneath the hips there and make that turn. Nicholas Gill fully engaged in there as coach. Must be the end of the day. He's got the uh, jacket and tie on. He's in the final block. And now they're all evened up, but there's three apiece with a minute left. One more penalty. Somebody's going to go home without anything hanging around their neck. Well, it's beginning to look like Antoine Valois Forti, I am afraid. Single score on the board for Nagase with 30 odd seconds left to go. He's still going to attack. He can't be passive here. That's exactly where he wants to be. See if he can work this, work a turnover. Or at least sell it. And I'd say he sold it for a good 13 seconds. Just doing enough to shade it from the Canadian. It's a better attack that by Blue. But I think he's going to be on the wrong side of the clock here. Go to Mate with a second to go. Well, that's Done. it. Nagase Takanori of Japan takes the bronze medal here in this under 81 kilo category. Antoine Valois Fortier this time round has to settle for fifth place. Not entirely disappointed with his performance, I'd have thought. Still just short of the podium.